Robert Griffith will step in now. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch is lifted in the air out to right. Frank is there, one away. So good work utilizing the changeup to get the fly ball, and I'm sure we'll see a few more of those moving forward. You get a look there at the rest of his scouting report. Michael Lawrence will stand in for the first time now. 24 home runs to his credit so far this year. Now the first pitch. That's hit hard on the ground, and it'll make it through into right field for a two-out single. And even if this doesn't lead to a run, it's important not to let this guy get out there and skate through the first inning, throwing as few pitches as he has. If nothing else, maybe you force him to throw another, I don't know, five, six, seven pitches to the next hitter. Michael Lawrence will stand in. The base hit his first time around. Michael. Here's the first offering. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there. Well, you can see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Michael Lawrence will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. They've been tough to deal with this year. Second on the team in RBI, right, so this is a golden opportunity. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. Aoki has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner in the dirt. And, oh, he can't quite dig it out. Jack flying an RBI. It's now a 2 nothing game. And at the very least, that's what he's up there hoping to do. And that hit the ball in the air somewhere. So nice job to pick up that runner from third. Although the other two runners have to stay put now with two away. Michael Lawrence will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. First offering on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Roll it up. Hey, come on now, fellas. Pause now the pick. Now a swing and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. Duvall has a tough play, but he ranges back to put it away for the first out. Yet yeah, not always an easy play heading toward the stands out there in left field. He's got a few different things to worry about over there. But he stays with it to make it look routine. Michael Lawrence will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Michael now here's the first pitch swinging a ball hit softly on the ground and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over so they're held in check here this half of the inning we've played eight full the storm chasers lead it three to two roger mascara will come on now hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the night
probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award, but what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shot? And now the 1-1 delivery, and here it is, and it's swung on a high drive left center field. Full going back. He's to the track, and he's right to the wall. He's there. He squeezes it, and the A's have won it. Three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. And again, the 2 2. Popped him up. Foul ground. Avila is under it. And they got it. The Tigers have done it. For the fourth consecutive year, they are champions of the American League Central Division. Punted right at the first baseman. And that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How? And welcome back, everybody. Matt Vaskersian prepping you for tonight's AAA PCL action. But before we get to the ball game, let's have a look at the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Michael Lawrence is our focus as he enters this game riding a 10-game hitting streak. Steve, what do you think about his chances of extending it in this game? Matt, we all know that these streaks are always tough to keep going, especially when people start to catch on that they're actually happening. Plus, the pressure just keeps rising the longer they get. Now, this isn't really that long a streak by any means, so I doubt that he's feeling any pressure yet. I think he's just really having fun with it. But if he continues to stick to that same approach he's had over the last 10, I think he's got a good shot to keep it going for a little while longer. And, you know, it always helps if you get that hit out of the way in your very first at-bat. So we'll see if he can get that done in this one. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball. And we'll have it for you next on the show. Michael Lawrence will stand in for the first time now. 24 home runs to his credit so far this year. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. E.K., you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. Despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, all good things must come to an end. And that winning streak finally ended last time out, but... I don't think that'll slow this bunch down at all. The way they're playing, they might just pick up right where they left off. Relay the first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Pedro Aguilera will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Now the pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. On to first, and there were two down. Batting ninth. Third baseman. Ken. Robbie Schaefer makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here we go, guys. Hey, nobody away. Here comes a 2 2. Hey, have a rip at it out there, huh? Infante now at second. And taking it out there for the first out. Now batting. First baseman, Todd Hartman. Michael Lawrence will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's the first pitch. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Here it comes. Here we go. Right now, fellas. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Now here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Here comes the one-two. 
Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. Here's another one, two. To right field. Constanza is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. The left fielder number 32, Gary Frank. Jose Constanza will dig in. Popped out his first time. One out, nobody on. Now the pitch. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time you realize this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Pedro Aguilera will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Hey, nobody wait. Hey, let's go, big now here it comes. Here's a swing and a ground ball. One away. Now batting, third baseman, Ken McKay. Michael Lawrence will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance, you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. The pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 home. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Pitch on the way. Swing, and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And quickly, two are gone now here in the visitor's half of the sixth. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. He's going after guys, he's working ahead in the count, and he's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. David Morales will come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Seventh inning coming up. Omaha leads this one 2-1. to one. Andres Perez is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Michael Lawrence will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. 
on a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Here it comes. Weakly to the right side, so he stays alive. Now here's the pitch. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Here's the pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. Three-two pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Kyle Parker will stand in. He flew out his last time up. and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We've played eight full. The Storm Chasers lead it two to one. Tommy Kingley come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. David Morales will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw over by Infante, and that's out number one. Pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. 2-1. That is into left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Pulls in. Kendrick on his way to third. Cespedes bobbles it. DeSarcina waving Kendrick home. Here's the throw to the plate, and Howie is gunned down. What an unbelievable throw by Joanna Cespedes. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday is safe lead at second. Adam swings and it's a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a goner. A goner. A three-run homer for Adam. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the second of four between the Omaha Storm Chasers and the Albuquerque Isotopes. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Michael Lawrence will stand in for the first time now. 24 home runs to his credit so far this year. First offering on the way. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Runners on first with one down. He's set, now the pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. E.K., we take a look at the home nine as they take the field here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. And that last loss was one of those games that you hate to lose. It, it really could have gone either way, but for our sake, I hope we get another close game like that here. 
Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. The one, two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Again, a one, two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward. Now, maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around. Here comes a 2-2. Now a ball hit back up the middle. All he does get to it to knock it down. And he'll get in there safely. Well, you'll get another look at this. This ball's hit sharply, so it gets on him pretty quickly. He's able to knock it down, but they weren't going to have a play after that. That should go down as an infield single. Michael Lawrence will stand in. A base hit his first time around. One time, here we go. Ah, let's be ready. Hey, get ahead. Stay ahead right here. One out. Now the first pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. He's set, now the pitch. 0-1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender, 0-2. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. And this is gonna be a foul ball. Runner at second here with one man out. Here comes another 0-2. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. Comes set, now the pitch. And this one's in the dirt, but fortunately here, no advance. Here now the 2-2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another 2-2 offering. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner score from second to tie the ball game at one and one. And he is out trying for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI here. Ken McCabe will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Here comes a 1-2. Good pitch there on 1-2 as this is pulled down to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We've played four full. The Isotopes lead it 3-1. to one. Michael Lawrence will stand in. He was thrown out trying to leg out a double his last time. Here's the first offering. In the dirt here. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So one run here on two base hits. No errors, and no one left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. Albuquerque's out in front, three to two. Michael Lawrence will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Hey, 
Now here's the pitch. Here we go. On the call. can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0-2 now. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Here's the one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? Here he comes on two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Full count offering on its way. Fouled straight back. The next 3-2. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Stays alive here as this is fouled off to the right. The 3-2 one more time. Lined into right field for a leadoff single. Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Michael Lawrence will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. First pitch coming. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. From the belt, the pitch. Now oh, he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. McCabe is over now, and he's got it for route number two. And here's a spot where you can see he just doesn't get that bat on a level plane through the zone. Now, this is an uppercut swing like he's trying to hit it out of the park. It winds up a routine pop-up. David Morales will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. On to first, and there were two down. Michael Lawrence will see if he can keep it going. Three for four thus far. Michael Lawrence. Now here's the first pitch. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it.
Brandon Barnes will step in with a tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Here's the two and two offering. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Infante for one. Back to first. It's a double play right when he needed it, and this ball game is over. Well, these guys fought hard right to the end. They got the tying run on base here in the ninth, but they couldn't get any further than that as the double play ball brings this game to a close. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of... And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Dode has it, he will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. And the Giants, once again, win a game in a very unusual...